Sometimes tactical changes are so straightforward they really don't require much explanation, especially when you can see the tactics unfold in the field, in action, as is the case here. Oh, big fish. They are strong. And have I got a secret to show you. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, short and stocky. Probably about 17, 18 inches. Beautiful fish. And here's the secret. We're gonna talk about this. One more look at the fish and we'll let her go here. All right, back you go, big guy. There we are. All right, and there's what's doing the damage. Little Terminator inline spinner, right like that. And of course, this is an age old option for smallmouth bass, but it doesn't get used a lot in a lot of situations today, and it's very appealing. But we've got some tricks to show you, not the least of which is, no surprise maybe, I love to couple swim baits with just about everything because of the vibration. Overlooked option, not exactly a secret, but not many people used it in a lot of situations. I'm going to show you how to do it. Just a slow grinding retrieve. Got smooth 832 line on here, suffix 832, make long cast if I want to. The blade's thumping, this uh, swim bait body is swimming and thumping. Uh, both of them are just doing their thing. And not only is it a great visual picture to the fish, but when they get up close, I keep saying this, all that vibration that's being given off, both from the spinner and from the swim bait itself, is what seals the deal by triggering some sort of predatory response as that uh, stimulates their lateral line. That's a sense that we don't have. They can feel vibrations in the water. There we go. Feisty, coming up. Boy, they're nice average fish. Into the net. Another big fish, man. Boy, they're feisty. Bang. Look at that. Beautiful. That is a big fish. That one's gonna go four and a half pounds, man. Wow. 20 inches. Maybe a little longer. There. All right, this little Terminator titanium inline spinner starts out looking like this. It's got a um, hook on it so that you can rig this to be weedless. So it's a great uh, option. I like it a lot for white bass. Uh, it's a great redfish lure. And obviously, as you're seeing now, it's a, a great smallmouth lure. So that's how it starts out. Now I'll show you what I do to modify this. All right, what I've done is I've taken off that hook and I've added a eagle claw or a, lazy, a laser sharp 111 swim bait hook. And it's got a quarter ounce, this is a three odd hook because I want to couple it with a four inch Berkeley hollow belly swim bait. So I've just taken the other hook off and added this swim bait hook. The advantage here is, is that you're gonna add weight so you can cast as far as you want with either casting tackle or spinning tackle. But the real key is, is that this will give this, it functions like a keel. So the swim bait, in order to work, has got to have a pivot point to work against. So that keel not only keeps this from spinning in the water and keeps it working straight, but it also gives the swim bait the opportunity to show off its best characteristics. So it's the combination of the spinner given that thump and that flash in combination with one of the most appealing things that there is to, in fishing, and that is that swim bait action. And you notice what I've done here. Well, I'll show you how to rig this on here right now. Okay, basically you're gonna take the head of the swim bait, this is a four inch Berkeley hollow belly, and you're just gonna twist it onto this wire ring at the head of the hook, and I like to lay this flat and uh, to put it on there, basically, what I do is I lay the hook under it like this. I put my thumbnail right up against the back of the hook and that tells me exactly where to go through the lure. 